don't forget to like and subscribe it's country man again just i lick you with some wisdom and i lick you with some knowledge you gotta take inside your brain it's a son i've learned a lot out of reading people faces no matter how them are going like them original them fake you gotta know when to walk and know when to run and know when to fall and know when to stand in this chair at 12 30 on sunday morning waiting to go and shift at 1 a.m when he saw a man wearing a hoodie about 75 feet away just outside the station's gate in front of a mechanic shop leslie was using his phone and thought nothing of it he absently went back into his phone until he heard the sound of gunshots he couldn't have imagined anyone was shooting at the station that's until the splinters of cement from this column hit him in the face that's when the reality of what was happening struck. He dived to the ground and scrambled to safety inside the station, crawling on his belly. It's fortunate that he did because if he hadn't, he would have likely been killed by this bullet. In fact, the camouflage jacket he wore was torn by a bullet right below the neckline. Today, we saw 13 bullet holes that pocked the station's outer wall. The marks aren't in anything near to a tight cluster. Some of them are near the roof, some near the ground. But while they might not show a skilled shooter, they do show one who wanted to send a message. He emptied out 18 rounds of 40 caliber ammunition, probably using a prohibited weapon like this, equipped with a switch that makes it fire in quick succession like an automatic weapon. Good day, my wonderful friends. It's me again the great great one more great and one more great countryman remember to like share and subscribe and click on another video yo more and big up all of my friends them down at st lucia trinidad jamaica and all of the caribbean because guess what may i tell you something we in the caribbean we is one and we should be living together. We should be working together. We should be doing everything together. A person in a St. Lucia should be able to fly to Jamaica, find a job, having papers, buy a house, do anything he want to do, vice versa. It should be freedom of movement. And I don't know what is taking these genius so long to do that thing. Make the whole Caribbean be one, like the European Union, and that's how the Caribbean should be. Now, with that said, I have to get that off my chest. Wanna hear the clip out front right there, where a one man in a Belize got a police station and shoot up the police station. A bullet even grazed the policeman down there in Belize. Now, my thing is this. You have a one block with an extended clip, a 40 cal, cal with an extended clip regime. And you put on a mask and you go to the police station and you empty out the blood clot gun on the police building. Now, a picky a picoir with a picoir with the police them and a dead you have a blood clot dead you understand remember me tell you if i did some country on the day on a dead long blood clot time now that is very very much disrespectful against the law enforcement now one gun one 40 cal you understand? Uh, me I call a boy. Uh, me I forget a pussy her name. Me I call him. <laughs> me I call him Pinky on the brain. The boy uh, in name Pinky on the brain, yo. Genius. Now, he make the dirty gang them boot him up. And no, not attack the police. But 
Yo, the man, them are Billy's. I guess them are send the police them a message. But I think that is so disrespectful. And it is so pinky on the brain to blood clot that him could have make some man make him dress up in a mask full black. Because the policeman said him see the man in a mask but him not pay no mind. Because him not expect a man to come shoot up the police station. Now, them also do another thing. So you see, it's a coordinated attack. You know them shoot up the police commissioner house let me show the song don't forget to like and subscribe look at the picture in front of you it's a commissioner house shut up now the news report they receive an unconfirmed report that a house in Belmopan belonging to the commissioner of police that's him right here Chester Williams has been shut up them say no one was at home during the assault and if you notice at the bottom it also said only days ago the Roaring Creek police station not too far away was also shut up so what from what I am seeing the criminals them are the gangs can I say the gangs they will get bola and bola and them attack on the police and it's a big big disrespect the man them got the commissioner house go fire blood cloud shot on the commissioner house me know said chester williams he might go find them boy there and he might go teach them a blow lesson them too damn disrespectful no a long time here to have all believes you know and we don't know if people if it really stand at them head yet but you see Belize is a dangerous little place you see the man them down there them come in like kind of like St. Lucia no I don't want I don't want to mix the man them with St. Lucia man but no for them as slippers them we are that me I say the man them wear slippers, they live in a board house. Them a ride bicycle come blood clad shot you. At that, that point, they may try me. So when you see one little bottom feeder scrubber, power and bicycle, and him not have no shot or whatever, and you might say, yeah, I want a little fool that no. A them boy, they are the murderer. You know, like Jamaica, at the bleach out face, man, them. We pre as murder right now, car. Like, like, we say that shot him on video. All the man them are do, them are kill for Tommy Hilfiger boxers and blood clad bleaching cream of Jamaica. You understand? Believe the man them are dead for hungry and are barefoot slippers. A man I come to see a man jump a man fence, you know, and shoot the man. He, he chase the man around the car. He not believes, you know, and him jump back over the fence. When we look upon the brother foot, the man blood clad, barefoot dog. Now I say, wait, I some barefoot killer them now. But put fun and joke aside, it's a big disrespect them do to the police commissioner down in a Belize. And me not like it. And me not tell Mr. Chester Williams, yo, if you fi catch them boy and lock them up and throw away the key. Now, in Belize, there is a state of emergency going from the north and the south. The central Belize, them not have no curfew. Now, me here see them pick up a couple gang members and the way all them thing work, them get locked down for about three months. Early this morning, police officers descended upon homes in targeted neighborhoods in the Belize and Cayo districts. Officers and the Belize Defense Force soldiers rounded up over 64 men suspected of gang affiliation under a state of emergency. The crackdown was sparked by a violent week, particularly in the old capital, where three murders were recorded. Commissioner of Police Chester Williams 
flanked by his top cops, made the announcement. As a law enforcement um, organization, and the primary one at that in Belize, we have a responsibility to the people. And if it is that we have to implement measures that is going to work for a period of time until we can look at longer lasting measures, then it is going to um, happen. I believe that the SOE will work for the purpose for which it is being implemented. And uh, again, it has a lot to do with making sure that we go after the right people. And that's the reason why we have our intelligence unit put together a list of persons who we have credible information against are involved in the ongoing feuds across the city. I am sure that you will be quite comfortable. Once the peace comes, when all these people are in prison, you'll be able to walk the streets how you want without having to be worried to be caught by a streetway bullet. That is what we want. Citizen security is important for everybody. And the police, them check them out and check out certain things. If them can't come up with nothing, then them let them go. And I think that's a good thing. Listen, Chester, get them boy. You understand? Get Pinky and the brain them down. All right? Listen. They didn't try. They shouldn't have um, victimized them. Because it's not like they victimized them because at the end of the day, they make their own victims. Uh, uh, I understand they, they did wrong. And I never, I know they said that they're good and they're good. They do wrong. They make mistake. Everybody make mistake. But when you try to right your mistake, the, the police itself, they know they give them no help because then setting and pick up the people there and he made it then no at the wrong time but that's the way i could say no i say in any i was gonna end this video but i said you know what let me play that clip when i just heard now you see how people stay there is a serious killing murder rusting i want young violence and then when them see one I said the police need to step up and when the police step up you hear people come out and say them family I get mistreated. But people fail to realize in these places, you understand, it's not like America, Canada, England where people are civilized and orderly. In in these places people are barbaric. They're fucking dangerous. They're fucking butchers, man. So you have to, the, the law enforcement have to use certain tactics to get the place in law and order. These people are set to unruly people and it goes all the way around the board. And I would say Jamaica is the number one country. So I am not being just like all oh, Belize and St. Lucia now. You understand? So at least give the law enforcement some fucking credit that the commissioner did the right thing. Look at El Salvador. Them should have locked them up for more than that. You have to lock up these guys and vet them and turn some of them into informants. That's how you get the system back. You have to turn them into informants. Listen, my name is Countryman. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and click on another video. I'm out. Don't forget to like and subscribe.